शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ फेब्रुअरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन इन ऑर्डर टू डाई अ लाइव वाइल इन दोज बॉडीज प्रैक्टिस आई एम अ सोल एंड यू टू आर अ सोल अटैचमेंट विल बी ब्रोकन बाय योर प्रैक्टिस दिस क्वेश्चन वट इज दी हाइएस्ट डेस्टिनेशन वट आर दी साइंस ऑफ दोज हु रीच डेट डेस्टिनेशन आंसर टू ब्रेक योर अटैचमेंट टू ऑल बॉडली बींग्स एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली हैव द अवेयरनेस ऑफ द ब्रदरहुड इज द हाइएस्ट डेस्टिनेशन ओनली दोज हु कॉन्स्टेंटली प्रैक्टिस बींग सोल कॉन्सियस कैन रीच डेट डेस्टिनेशन If you are not soul conscious you will continue to become trapped somewhere or other either in your own body or in the bodies of your friends and relatives you would like something of others or you would like the body of someone those who are to reach the highest destination cannot love a physical body their awareness of bodies will have been broken om shanti The spiritual father says to you spiritual children look i have come to make all of you children the same as myself now how would the father come here to make you the same as himself he is incorporeal he says i am incorporeal and i have come to make you children the same as myself that is to make you incorporeal and to teach you how to die alive the father too considers himself to be a soul he doesn't have any consciousness of this body while being in a body he doesn't have any awareness of the body this body doesn't belong to him you children too have to remove the consciousness of your bodies you souls have to come back home with me Just as I have taken this body on loan, in the same way, souls also take bodies on loan to play their parts. Each of you has been taking a body for birth after birth. Now, although I am alive in this body, I am still detached. That is, I am dead to it. To shed your body is referred to as dying. You too have to die alive to your bodies. I am a soul and you two are us are souls. Do you want to come back with me or do you just want to sit here? You have had attachment to bodies for birth after birth. Just as I am bodiless, you two have to consider yourselves to be bodiless while alive. We now have to go back with Baba. Just as this is Baba's old body, so you souls also have old bodies. You have to renounce those bo- those old souls. Just as I don't have any attachment to this one, so you too have to remove your attachment from those old souls. You have to you have the habit of attachment. I don't have that habit. I have died alive. You too have to die alive. If you want to go back home with me, then practice this. You have so much awareness of the body. don't even ask even when the body is deceased the soul doesn't leave it alone you have to break your attachment to it we definitely have to go back home with papa you have to consider yourselves to be separate from those bodies this is called dying alive just remember your home you have been living in a body for birth after birth and this is why you have to make effort you have to die alive i only enter this one temporarily so by moving along while considering yourselves to be dead that is by considering yourselves to be souls there won't be attachment to any bodily beings generally everyone has attachment to someone or other and they can't stay without seeing that person you should completely remove the remembrance of bodily beings because the destination is very high while eating and drinking it should be as though you are not in that body 
you have to make this stays firm because only then can you enter the rosary of eight jewels you cannot receive a high status without making effort for as long as you live you should consider yourselves to be residents of that place just as baba is sitting in this one temporarily in the same way we too now have to return home just as baba doesn't have attachment in the same way we too should not have attachment the father has to sit in this body in order to explain to you children you now have to return home therefore you mustn't have attachment to bodily beings this one is very good she is very sweet the intellect of the soul is pulled there the father says do not look at the body look at the soul by looking at the body you become trapped the destination is very high you have also had attachment for birth after birth baba doesn't have any attachment and this is why he has come to teach you the father himself says i do not become trapped in this body you are trapped in these bodies i have come to liberate you your 84 births have now ended therefore now remove your consciousness of the body by not being soul conscious you continue to become trapped somewhere or other if you like something or someone or if you like someone's body you would continue to remember that one even while at home if there is love for a body you become defeated some are spoiled very much in this way the father says break the relationship of husband and wife and consider yourselves to be souls that one is a soul and i too am a soul by considering yourselves to be souls the consciousness of your bodies will continue to be removed by having remembrance of the father your sins will be absolved you can churn this subject very well you cannot jump with that enthusiasm without churning the ocean of knowledge it should be firm that you definitely have to go back with the father the main thing is remembrance the cycle of 84 births has now ended and it has to start again if you don't renew if you don't remove your attachment from those old bodies you will become trapped either in your own either in your own body or in the bodies of friends and relatives you must not attach your heart to anyone consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father i the soul am incorporeal and the father is also incorporeal you have been remembering the father on the path of devotion for half the cycle when you say o oh, prabhu the shivalingam comes in front of you you cannot say o oh, prabhu to a bodily being everyone who goes to the shiva temple and worships him considers him to be the supreme soul god the highest on high is only one he is the highest on high that is the one who resides in the supreme abode devotion is at first unadulterated it is devotion of just the one then that too becomes adulterated the father repeatedly explains to you children if you want to claim a high status then practice this renounce the consciousness of the body even sanyasis renounce the vices previously they were sato pradhan but even they have now become tamo pradhan a sato pradhan soul has an attraction that pulls impure souls because that soul is pure even though they do take rebirth because those souls are pure they attract others and so many people become their followers the more power of purity they have the more followers they have this father is ever pure and incognito he is double but all the strength is of that one not of this one brackets brahma 
it was also that one not this brahma who attracted you in the beginning because that one is ever pure you did not run after this one this one says i stayed on the family path the most for 84 births this one cannot pull you the father says i pulled you although sanyasis remain pure none of them would be as pure as i am they all relate the scriptures etc of the path of devotion i come and tell you the essence of all the vedas and the scriptures they have shown a picture of brahma emerging from the navel of vishnu and then they show the scriptures in the hands of brahma now vishnu would not tell you the secrets of these scriptures through brahma those people also consider vishnu to be god the father explains i speak to you through this brahma i do not speak to you through vishnu there is a vast difference between brahma and vishnu brahma becomes vishnu and then after 84 births there is this confluence this is something new these are such wonderful things and have to be explained now the father says children you have to die alive you are living in those bodies are you not you understand that you are souls you understand that you are souls and that you will go home with baba you will not take those bodies etc with you baba has now come therefore transfer everything to the new world people make donations and perform charity etc in order to receive something in their next birth you too will receive everything in the new world only those who did this in the previous cycle will do this there won't be anything more or anything less you will continue to observe as the test observers there is no need to say anything nonetheless the father explains you mustn't have any arrogance about what you have done i a soul will shed this body and go home i will then go to the new world and take a new body it is remembered rama went and ravan went the family of ravan is so big you are only a handful all of this is the community of ravan your community of rama will be so small only 900000 you are the stars of the earth the mother father and you children so the father repeatedly explains to you children try to die alive on seeing someone if it enters your intellect that that person is very good or that she explains very sweetly that too is an attack by maya maya tempts you if it is not in that one's fortune maya comes in front of him no matter how much you explain to him he will feel angry he wouldn't understand that it is that it is body consciousness that is making him do that if you try to explain any more he would break therefore you have to interact with everyone with love if your heart becomes attached to someone don't even ask you go crazy maya makes you completely senseless this is why the father says do not become trapped in the name and form of anyone i am a soul and i must only love the one father who is bodiless this is the only effort let there be no attachment to anyone it should not be that while sitting at home you continue to remember the one who gave you knowledge that says very sweet and explains very well oh but it is the knowledge that is sweet it is the soul that is sweet the body is not sweet it is the soul that speaks never go crazy never go crazy about a body nowadays there is a lot of this on the path of devotion they continue to say ma ma to anand mai ma as they remember her they remember her acha uh, where is the father are you going to receive your inheritance from the father or from a mother 
where does the mother receive money from none of your sins will be cut away by simply saying ma ma the father says constantly remember me alone do not become trapped in a name or form or there would be even more sin committed because you become disobedient to the father many children have forgotten the father the father explains i have come to take you children back and so i certainly will take you back therefore remember me only by remembering me will your sins be cut away on the path of devotion you have been remembering many but how can you do anything without the father the father doesn't tell you to remember ma the father says remember me i am the purifier follow the directions of the father you have to continue to explain to others according to the directions of the father you are not purifiers you have to remember the one alone mine is the one father and none other baba i will only surrender to you you have to surrender yourself to sri baba alone the remembrance of everyone else has to be renounced on the path of devotion they continue to remember many here you have one sri baba and none other nevertheless some follow their own dictates and so what liberation or salvation will they receive they become confused how can i remember a point oh but you do remember that you are a soul do you not a soul is a point i your father am also a point you receive the inheritance from the father ma brackets anand mai is still a bodily being you are to receive your inheritance from the bodiless one therefore renounce everything else and connect your intellects in yoga to the one alone acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 in order to end any consciousness of bodies while walking and moving around practice being that to your body become detached i am not in a body just look at souls without bodies second you must never go cross crazy about anyone's body have love for the one body less father connect your intellects in yoga to the one alone blessing may you be a karma yogi and receive blessings by keeping a balance of doing service and making effort on yourself a karma yogi is someone who has a balance of yoga while acting service means acting and making effort on oneself means being yogi in order to keep a balance of these two just remember one expression the father is karavanhar and i this soul am karanhar brackets one who inspires and one who does this one expression will enable you to keep a very good balance and you will receive blessings from everyone when you consider yourself to be a kara karavanhar instead of considering yourself to be a karanhar there isn't a balance and maya then takes her chance slogan in order to do the service of taking others beyond with a glance keep pap dada merged in your eyes slogan in order to do the service of taking others beyond with a glance keep pap dada merged in your eyes om shanti